In this video, we're going to have a look at how to output um, a message before the shop loop. So here we have uh, on the home page of the shop, we have big brands in the shop. I'm going to go and have a look at one of those big brands. And now what I'm going to do is go to one of the um, categories. And now it'll say special offer in accessories, don't miss out, whatever those are. And if I go back and I choose a different category, it'll say special offer in beanie. And it'll automatically pull in the name of the uh, category into this message that we have at the top here. So it's not a um, category description, but it's actually a dynamic uh, message that we create. Um, so nice for promoting. Maybe you want to have an ad banner that you'd like to put in there. So if you do have a banner, this would be one way of doing that. So let me show you how I did that. So I'm going to head back here to my plugins. I'm using code snippets for the code snippet. And then I'm going to head over here to my snippets. And I've included that snippet here. I've created a snippet for WooCommerce Grid. And I'm including um, you know, all my snippets for the grid um, in there. So here I have a new function. And in this function, then I can output the message. So I'm going to head back to the shop. And what I'm going to do now is um, delete that. So we're going to delete that. And I'm going to save that. And now what we're going to do is recreate that from scratch. All right, so let's get started on the function. So by underscore, uh, let's go function. Make that a bit bigger. And we're just going to be saying, um, let's go category. Um, so that gets the function going. And now we need to determine where we're going to put it. So I head over here to this visual hook guide on Business Bloomer. And I'm going to insert it here before the shop loop. So what I'm going to do is copy that, head over here, and we're going to add an action. And it will be before the shop loop. And that action ensures that the content gets inserted before the shop loop. And we set the priority to 10. Um, that's the default. And zero then what i'm going to do here is get this information here so now i'm going to make sure that whatever i put inside this function is going to be inserted here before the shop loop so before we start i'm just going to check that it's working so we'll just echo out hello i'm going to save that so we've saved the function refresh and now you see we have the word hello Right, now what we want to do is make that uh, look a little bit nicer. So what I'm going to do now, because it's just going to be HTML, I'm going to close off PHP and then open it again here. Right, now what I can do is just work in standard HTML. So I'll go div and I'm just going to do some styling, but you could also create a class for your CSS and we'll just go with uh, 100%. Uh, let's go border. Um, let's make a border of, say, um, three pixels. Let's make it solid. And let's do that. Let's go then um, the color of the text. We'll make that red. And we'll put in a border radius of... 10 pixels and then let's just give it a margin above and below so the margin will be uh, 20 pixels nothing to the left and the right so there we have our div now we can add the message so the message here will be check out our store and then what we'll do is we'll close off that div like that. Um, what we might want to do here is um, maybe align the text in the center. Text align center. Right. 
I like to just copy before I save in case there's something I haven't seen and we're going to hit save. Right, now what we'll do is go and have a look at that on the website and you'll see that we have check out our store in the red, it's aligned in the center uh, and we might just add a bit of padding there. So head over here and A bit of padding so that'll just make it look better so that's great but now it will be appearing everywhere in our store so if i have a look and i refresh you'll see that it's on the shop page and it's also in a category page and we just want to make that on the store page and now we want something different for the category pages so i'm going to head back here and enlarge and what i'm going to do now is add a condition so the condition is going to be if um, is is underscore store then insert this and I'm going to go down here and close off the brackets there. So I'm saying if it is the store page then put it in but don't put it on a category page so head over here and that you'll see that um, the function that we've used um, is incorrect so let's just go and have a look and see what we've done there and it's not store it's actually shop right so if it's the shop now when we refresh, you'll see that there's nothing on the accessories page, but if we go to the shop, uh, we'll see that it is showing. So that's great. Now what I'm going to do is do something for a product category. So we head back down here, and now I'm going to create a new if statement. So that one's done. And here I'm going to go if and is underscore product underscore category open bracket close bracket and what I'm going to do now is just um, once again exit PHP and then open PHP again and I'm going to copy that I'm not going to redo all of that but I am going to change the styling of it so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change the border that we had three pixels solid. I'm now going to change that to three pixels in red and the font color, the color here, I'm going to make black. And what I'll do is I'm also going to go font size, make that 20 pixels, right? And the rest I'm going to leave the same. But I'm going to say, check out the products in. And now what I want to do is obviously put in the category name. So now what I'm going to do is open up the PHP and close the PHP again. And now what we're going to do is insert the category name. And to get the category name is quite easy. So the category name now is going to be so what we want to do here is echo and it's the single category title that we want so we say echo single underscore cat underscore title right now what we do is I'm just going to copy everything and then I'm going to hit save. Everything should be working. Right, so fine. Now I'm going to head over to the website. So we are check out our store. I'm going to go into my product. I'm going to head over to accessories. Ah, so you can see that it's working on the accessories page, but our text is in white. So that's not going to work for us. So let's just Go and have a look and check why uh, I set the color to white instead of to black. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap this in a span tag. 
so that I can change the color. Color here will be span style equals color red and font dash weight. I'm going to make it really bold, 900. So what I'm going to do now is that, and then I'm going to close off the span after the name of the category. So now check out our products in, be red, bold, and the category title. Then I'm going to save that again. And now when we refresh, you'll see check out the products in accessories. Let's go to, okay, that is an accessory. So let's go to the beanie here because it also has a category in beanie and check out the products in beanie. So, um, right, so that's how we can create a dynamic bit of text that's inserted before. Um, of course, this can contain any information you want and it could also contain um, you know, promotional information or a banner, but that's essentially how you would insert um, text before the shop loop. And if we wanted to target a specific category, let's say we just wanted to target this category, accessories, um, or let's make it more specific, or accessories is fine. Um, now, there are two ways of doing that. If I go to edit category here at the top of the page, You'll see at the bottom of the left hand side of the screen, you'll see that there's the URL. And in that URL, you'll see tag underscore ID equals 35. Or if I click on edit category, you'll see here that we have this same text with the ID in the top. So if I head over to my function now and I say is product category and I'm going to say 35, I'm going to save the changes. And let's go and have a look at that category now. So you'll see that we have accessories. Now I'm going to go over to Beanie. And when we go to Beanie, you'll see that it's not visible. So that's only going to appear now if the category is category ID 35, which is accessories. So that's how you can target the shop page. So we say is shop and it'll put this information in the shop page. And if I say is product category and I put in the category ID, it'll only target that particular category. Right, so that's how we can then insert text um, or any element that we want at the top of a specific category. So great for promotions or to highlight um, something about a specific category. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching.